it's uh, Saturday. It's actually 1 p.m. I am filming Monday's video and right now I'm looking for my wooden spoon. Uh, I, mean, I don't know what I did with it, so I'll grab another one. Um, anyway, so you, you saw yesterday's video. I went uh, to Home Depot and a bunch of stuff. And right now I'm preparing a soup for tonight. So this is just vegetable. There's some cabbage in here. There's some green vegetables, onions. Um, I'm just sauteing the whole thing right now and it's basically just, there's no meat, right? I'm just going to add water. So for lunch we're having pizza leftover because Friday night is pizza night. That's why we buy the big pizza at Aldi. Uh, so we had that last night. We have some leftovers so we're going to do that. Um, I'm going to throw some water on this and the um, uh, beef cube. And when we come back from competition tonight, we'll have soup ready. Um, so that kind of like makes sense. I made a little bit of a mess. I got to clean that up. Uh, the rest of the kitchen, let me show you. The rest of the kitchen is pretty much clean, uh, except the stuff I brought back from, that was in the car, you know, from uh, my uh, trip. Um, so I had to uh, give cards for Willie and then the um, Misery Quilt Company catalog and my purse over there. Um, I'm just going to throw some water on the soup right now and then I'm going to start, um, I'm going to finish editing the video you saw yesterday. I don't, it's all complicated, I get it. And then once I'm done with that, um, band competition is not until 5.30, I probably will not film that um, and I think I mentioned why because it's really great. I don't know, I got to get a feel for it. Um, but anyway, I'm thinking of doing that closet in here because um, I talked about it for um, zone one that I wanted to figure out a way to put my cleaning equipment so I have to do it I have to just get the stuff out of here find a better place for it and see if I can fit all of my cleaning equipment in it so I'll see you in a bit actually I've changed my mind I found sausages um, in the freezer there are pork sausages with fennel and I've decided to add them to the soup. I just defrosted them in the microwave really, really quick. This is still on the brown um, setting. And I'm going to put it on slow cooker, but low for the whole day. Because it's only 1 o'clock. By the time we come back home, it'll be 9.30. We'll probably be starving. So it'll be perfect before we go to bed. We have a nice hearty soup. And I gotta tell you, I make a lot of soups. I really do. I love soups and everybody likes them and for some reason that's the only way I get the boys to eat vegetables. So I make soups. And all I have in here is uh, Kale, spinach, acorn, one sweet potato, some cabbage, onions, and the sausage. That's it. Okay, we had lunch. I'm back in the kitchen. This is the inside of the cabinet that is on the side of the fridge and you guys are right. I need to reconsider using it for my cleaning supplies. So let me see what I can do. I'm going to first remove the shelf, put the stuff in and then I got to figure out where I'm going to put all of this stuff. All right, so I'm back in the car and uh, I am going to it's not a Dollar General. I think it's Dollar Tree um, that's in the area. Uh, well, it's a little bit of a hike. Um, so I'm going there because I need command hooks and a few other things from the dollar store. Um, I'm pretty sure they're gonna have command hooks over there. If not, I'll go to uh, Kmart next to it. But anyway, um, the reason why I'm doing that is because I just put, I just took out everything in that little cubby thing. 
and as of now I have room for the steam mop I have room for that little handheld vacuum that I still have to review for you I used it this morning actually when I was cleaning the kitchen really like it um, and I have room for the broom uh, but then when I put the dustpan it starts to get a little you know um, you got to move stuff in order to get all the stuff but I want to put a uh, command hook on the inside because that's where I'm gonna put the um, the dog leashes so that I don't have the dog leashes uh, there so when the kids walk the dogs instead of having the leashes on the outside they'll just open the uh, um, thing but what I'm trying to see is if I can find um, what you call it a tension rod to put inside the underneath the sink in the cabinet underneath the sink so that I can have the tension rod that way and everything that's a spray that has a, a handle I can just hang them on that tension rod you've probably seen that on Pinterest a gazillion time uh, it's one of those life hacks uh, so I'm gonna see if I can find that and then I'll get shower curtain rings I guess um, yeah so it's raining you guys I don't know how it's gonna look for marching band tonight um, it looks like we're gonna have to watch the entire show underneath the umbrellas um, and put some poncho whatever poncho uh, whatever you call them this is gonna have to be the most boring Dollar Tree haul ever okay so I paid a total of let me see 10 1066 is that what it says okay 1066 all right so I got a few things while I was there um, I got curtain rings plastic curtain rings so Scott's gonna have to fix that I got two sets of these these are like the uh, fake command hooks they hold up to three pounds uh, so I'm gonna see whether or not that's gonna work out and be enough for the dog leashes and then um, yeah that's really all I need for now so I got two packs and then while I was there I got a few other things I got some razors because I'm out I got two Aquafresh um, I was gonna say the word in French um, toothpaste I got new toothbrushes for the kids um, we're almost out of aluminum foil so we might as well just buy it here it's cheaper than at the store and last thing is no second to last um, I needed cotton rounds so there you have it and then a tiny bottle of Dawn detergent so that's it um, ten dollars not too bad going home going to install those hooks and see whether or not this whole system works for me so uh, this is what I'm doing the accessories to that um, vacuum that I have I'm doing a little gizmo here with zip ties so that I can hang them on the side of that little closet so this is the little brush that I use for staircase and you can no. use it for upholstery as well so what I'm doing basically is taking one zip tie like this and I'm putting it um, around right and then I'm taking another one and let me see how is this gonna hang this way and the other one I'm putting this way so I can still use them but I can hang them on the side of the closet so uh, I'm going to do the same thing with this one and then I have this one here hmm I'm not sure that's going to work for that one let's see I don't want to have to drill a hole because it defeats the whole purpose of having this thing suck anything yeah that should work okay all right and last one okay so I need one two three four hooks inside the closet so this is the closet right and let's look at it now that I'm done we got everything in there all right so on the right side here have the leashes 
for the dogs. Eventually I'll put a little something for um, poop bags. And then all of my accessories for the vacuum are on the side so I can easily grab them. I have my steam mop, my handheld uh, rechargeable vacuum and I have the broom, the regular broom. Now the uh, dustpan, I have to uh, go find it. It's downstairs in the garage. It's gonna have to be tucked in in the back, but that's it. Uh, so now that frees up the whole space in the entryway, um, and it works. So yeah, why not? So now I'm left with the base for the vacuum and then the two batteries and the charger. Um, the base I'm probably not going to keep, um, but I will show it to you when I do a review on that vacuum. So. Eventually I have to figure out where I'm going to do with um, those two batteries and where I'm going to have them, but yeah, it's working. So that leaves me with this thing here, which I no longer need. So I'm just going to go ahead and find a screwdriver and remove this whole thing and patch the holes. And uh, when I paint the yellow in the staircase, I'll paint over those four holes as well. And I'll have this entire panel here free of clutter I guess and uh, it's probably gonna make the whole place look bigger okay so that's removed and uh, I just washed the wall actually I need to patch the holes but you can see that now I have a full panel so I'm tempted to put something there you know me some decorative item but I, I really don't wanna I'm gonna leave it like that so I'm pretty happy with being able to put the stuff in there except that now I gotta figure out where I'm going to put the uh, dishes and bakeware I had in there. I have a feeling they're going to go right back above the microwave, which is where they were in the first place. For those of you new to the channel, I love corningware. <laughs> I really do. Um, so I have two sets. I have the uh, pansies and I have uh, the Spice of Life. And then I have the French, uh, the country French, and this is another Spice of Life. However, I also love Temptation, uh, so I have to make a decision because I can't keep them all. <laughs> I just can't. Uh, I think I'm going to let go of the French white um, because the Temptation pretty much um, duplicates them in terms of size. And I this is new Corningware. This is vintage. I'd rather keep the vintage. Um, right. So. Imagine that, I'm letting go of the French country white corningware. Can you believe it? I let go of three dishes, you guys, three. Because I have one here, the large one, I have the medium, and I have a repeat of the medium. I must have bought two sets. Um, so I'm going to send a text to my coworkers and I'm going to ask them if they want it. I managed to fit everything back into cupboards and shelves. Um, and I think this is going to work out. Um, so let me show you where I'm at. And then uh, it's almost 5 o'clock. We're going to have to get going because competition starts at 5.30. Um, so i got to get dressed and Willie's got to wear some warm stuff. We're going to take the umbrellas because it is raining. Mm. Okay, so on the left side of the oven, I have um, my two large pot, which is my uh, copper chef and my cast iron pot on the shelf that's on wheels and then in order to reach the rest of the stuff I'm using this one which is my big tray for the turkey, the turkey pan and then I'm putting the rest of my um, big dishes in there and then all of the baking ware is back on top of the microwave um, I don't use it that often so that's alright so okay close this I got the soup uh, going in but you really can't see anything so that's going to be done by the time we come back. Uh, it's got 4 hours and 35 minutes to go. And again, all of the cleaning supplies are now in here and out of sight. So that's a plus. So I'm going to go get changed and I'll see you at competition, I guess. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to film. But if you are not interested in watching that, you can stop the video now. Um, if you are, stick around. Otherwise, um, I'll see you later. Okay, so thank you for watching, you guys. Bye!
Is your band ready? <laughs> Mawa High School, you may take the field in class AA competition. High school, you may take the field in class double-A competition. Idea is like a spark to creativity. Thank you. 